Hello everyone. My name is Yasser Sabri. I'm a principal engineer with the Cyber Systems and I'm leading the Optical and Microsystem Technologies Group. First, I would like to thank the chairman for inviting me to give you this talk. It is my pleasure to participate in this session. My talk is entitled MEMS-based Mid-Infrared Spectral Sensing Solutions for Process Analytical Technology. I hope you enjoy it. Our solution is based on an infrared microspectrometer. First, a spectrometer is a material analyzer that is used to analyze the spectrum of light after interaction with the molecules of the sample under test. Since every molecule has a unique spectral absorption fingerprint corresponding to the vibrational modes of the molecule, one can identify or classify the material type from the wavelength of the absorbed light and quantify the concentrations of the different chemical species from the absorption signal strength. The mission of NEO Spectra is to bring spectroscopy and material analysis from the laboratory to the field in an affordable and easy way that can be used by anyone. One can start talking about sensor scale spectroscopy instead of using bulky benchtop devices. New Spectra technology is recognized worldwide and got the Prism Award for Photonics Innovation in 2014 in the category of Test Measurement and Metrology. The technology is also showcase winner in the European MEMS and Sensor Summit 2017. New Spectra is the smallest FTIR spectrometer in the world. Conventionally, optical bench systems are bulky and expensive. I'm showing an example for a Maxon interferometer, which is the core engine of the FTIR spectrometer. Normally, building such a device in a discrete way and spending the time aligning the optical components can consume a whole day. In cyber systems, we have developed the micro-optical bench technology that is sometimes referred to as the integrated circuits of optics. It is based on the microelectromechanical systems MEMS technology. All the components of the interferometer are self-aligned and monolithically integrated on a silicon chip. This solution is much more reliable than the bulky devices. It also enables huge cost reduction following the rules of economies of scale. New Spectra Micro is a complete FTIR spectrometry system in a package where the MEMS chip, a single photodetector, and a monolithic micro-optical part for light coupling are all passively aligned in a tiny package. We call this system in a package as the optical core module. The choice of the photodetector determines whether this core module operates in the near-infrared or the mid-infrared spectral range. We aim at the ultimate goal of enabling ubiquitous material analysis. New usage models can be enabled in various applications including food quality and authenticity, soil analysis and precision agriculture, environmental monitoring, health and beauty, and point of care testing, passenger safety and accidents rate reduction, pharmaceutical industry, polymer quality control, and enabling the fourth industrial revolution, Industry 4.0. That's to say, new spectra enables ubiquitous spectral sensing anywhere and by anyone where it fits very well with the Internet of Things and smart devices. Based on new spectra technology, I'm going to show you four use cases for real-time monitoring of different processes. The first use case is monitoring the chemical changes happening to in-service lubricating oil. This is extremely important to heavy machinery such as construction equipment, agricultural machines, diesel trucks, and mining gears. The operation of such machinery hinges on its lubricant oil 
and its bad quality can lead to breakdowns. These breakdowns can incur major expenses for the business. The second use case is analyzing the quality of frying oil over time. This is basically to answer the daily question of can I reuse the frying oil? The answer is not easy as it depends on many factors. You can imagine that your fryer becomes smart and answers your question autonomously. The third and fourth use cases are related to air quality. First, monitoring indoor air quality in a working environment along the day and looking for overall quality indicators. The second is monitoring the air undergoing a purification process and looking for specific volatile organic compounds and their elimination ratio over time. The first application is the analysis of in-service lubricating oil and monitoring the chemical changes happening such as soot contamination, quality degradation, and depletion of additives. Here we use the attenuated total reflection ATR sampling method. We tested a fresh car engine oil and tested the oil again after several thousands of kilometers usage. One can clearly distinguish changes in the spectrum that are directly related to the concentration of water, soot contamination, oxidation, and nitration. One can also apply chemometric analysis to extract additional information related to the total acid number, total base number, and the viscosity, and get overall accurate predictions for the different parameters of interest. A comparison with a benchtop device at a comparable spectral resolution shows a very good match. The second use case is related to the food domain and analyzing degradation in the frying oil versus the number of frying cycles. We have used the attenuated total reflection sampling method as well for this application. One can observe the change in the spectrum related to fat concentration in the wavelength range of 3 to 3.6 micrometer, mainly reduction in the unsaturated fat concentration and increase in the saturated fat concentration over time. The changes related to the carbonyl group and oxidation products are observed in the range of 5.5 to 6.2 micrometer, showing also increase over time. Once the harmful components exceed a certain limit, this oil shouldn't be reused. Again, a very good match with the spectra of a benchtop device validates the result of new spectra solution. The third use case is about the environment and the analysis of air quality indoors. We have conducted an experiment monitoring the quality of air in sideware premises using new spectra and transmission configuration, where the light source is on one side and the receiver unit is on the other side analyzing the air in between. The ventilation was kept intentionally poor during this experiment. Reference data was collected from four different sensors dedicated for carbon dioxide, humidity, total VOCs, and particulate matter 2.5. We have measured for several days and a chemometric model was built. Here, I am showing the results for monitoring along one day and two nights. Interesting enough that a single spectral sensor of new spectra is able to predict all the parameters. Very good correlation results and small errors were obtained that are actually within the accuracy of the reference sensors. Although this is all-in-one sensing solution, it is still not taking advantage of the full capabilities of new spectra, since one can further discriminate between the different types of volatile organic compounds. This is demonstrated in the next slide. 
The last case is related to monitoring air as well, but undergoing a purification process. Our partners use the mechanism of photocatalysis to get together with the zinc oxide nanowire technology for purification. It is an effective way to degrade organic pollutants by simple exposure to UV light. Here a control sample of cigarette smoke in a gas cell is purified over time and the spectrum is captured using new spectra. Two volatile organic compounds were monitored specifically toluene and acetone. Here the spectrum is shown for toluene where one can observe the reduction in concentration over time. The elimination ratio was extracted and plotted versus time and the results revealed that the elimination of acetone was much more efficient using the nanowires. To summarize, new spectra, spectral sensors and solutions are paradigm shift in spectroscopy applications. Portable mid-infrared sensing solutions have been explored for liquid and gas applications, air pollution, purification monitoring, and food lubricant oil degradation monitoring were demonstrated as examples. Neospectra is not only serving the process analytical technology but also enabling ubiquitous material analysis. I would like to thank all the team of Neospectra and Cyber Systems, our academic partners in Ain Shams University in Egypt and University Gustave Eiffel in France. I would like also to thank the different public funding agencies who supported the development of new spectra or the demonstrations in different applications. Finally, I would like to thank all the audience. Please feel free to contact me for any questions or inquiries.